Welcome back. Thanks a lot for staying with us. Some big updates now coming in in the murder case of Sonali Foga. The Chief Minister of Goa, Pramod Savant, has now gone on to say that he will in fact write to the Union Home Minister Amit Shah today to hand over the case of the murder of Sonali Fogart to the CBI. Let's listen into what the Chief Minister had to say. लोगों की डिमांड है वहाँ से कंटिन्यूसली कि ये केस सीबीआई के पास देने चाहिए उनकी बेटी की भी डिमांड थी आज हम वो केस सीबीआई के पास दे रहे हैं सो डेफिनेटली मैं डेफिनेटली इस केस को आज हम मैं खुद होम मिनिस्टर को चिट्ठी लिख रहा हूँ कि ये केस सीबीआई के पास देने के लिए colleague anshul who's been tracking all these developments for us now joining us on the broadcast anshul this is a big development where the chief minister and the goa state government are recommending a cbi probe exactly on the lines of what the family had been demanding as well so yes since day when the family has been alleging that the goa police is not fulfilling its job in, in investigating the entire case of sanadi fogart the probe although the cm and the dgp of goa have come on record and said that they are happy with the manner in which the investigation is going on however a uh, big kha panchayat was held yesterday in in hisar by the this kha panchayat was called by the family members of sonali fogart and in this kha panchayat they actually put out a demand that by the 24th of september if the uh, go administration does not recommend this case to the cbi then they are going to have a more bigger agitation in regarding this entire case so it seems that the government has finally now bowed down to the demands of the family members and finally the go administration is now writing to the home ministry to hand over this case to the cbi however the cbi still has the option to reject this case on the basis of its merits but that is still a very very long uh, long story to go Correct. go ahead hmm. but yes it remains to be seen if the cbi is going to go ahead and ta take this case up however in this investigation that has come up till now uh, there are there are many loopholes which have Correct. been found in the goa hmm. police investigation it is being alleged by the family members that the manner in which the goa police came to hisar and investigated this entire case that was absolutely fast and they did, did not take Uh, the the right uh, the right guy the, the yeah. not in the so a lot of questions right being raised forward. against so, the role of the goa police and should i request you to stay on with us a colleague herman gomes also now joining us on the broadcast herman what does this development mean for the goa police because they've come under a lot of fire and criticism considering the fact that they were the same people who saw this as an open and shut case of cardiac arrest in the first place uh well did i would say that this in fact is a massive setback to the goa police because the goa police had expressed confidence uh saying that they were not dilly dallying with the entire case and that the probe was on but right at the start at the onset when sonali fogat was found dead the goa police before even the post mortem report could be out had stated that this was a case of cardiac arrest Correct. but later on once the po post mortem report did come in uh you know the results clearly pointed out that there were four injuries to her body post that subsequently even saw arrest taking place including uh two of her personal assistants uh so while this the, the, the home ministry is handled by the chief minister uh, himself dr pramod savant he has now said that based upon the demands of the uh, of the people of haryana they have decided to hand over the case to the cbi but at the same time he uh, said he is he has been satisfied with the sort of investigation that is being carried out by the goa police but right at the uh, ever at the onset of the case you know ever since it was uh, declared by the goa police on record much before the post mortem that it was a case of cardiac arrest this definitely is going to be seen as a setback and definitely questions are going to be raised upon the investigation and the process of it as far as the sonali fogat case is concerned okay anshu like quickly also want to understand talk to our viewers about where does the investigation currently stand as far as the role of the personal assistants and people who were close to her we already know that they're under the scanner of the police but where does the investigation currently stand when his charan came back they still haven't been able to find a motive behind the alleged murder of sonali fogat and that is the reason why the family was absolutely angry that it has been um more than 15 to 16 days and the goa police has still not been able to establish the motive behind the entire entire murder probe also they raised a lot of questions in the manner in which the goa police came to hisar and visited uh, visited the ho uh, house and uh, uh, took the statements of the family members of sonali fogat they alleged that the statements that were taken were very one sided and it, se it seemed to them that the goa police is not at all interested in finding out the exact uh, reason as to how did sonali fogat uh, die so yes uh, keeping that in mind it was only yesterday that the uh, haryana chief minister yet again re reiterated the fact that yes if the people of haryana want if the family members of uh, sonali fogat want this case to be investigated by the cbi he will again write to 
uh, Pramod Savant and uh, urged him to transfer this case to the, uh, to the CBI. And the very next day, we are hearing that Pramod Savant has finally agreed. Now, remember, this is the second time that the Goa, uh, that the Haryana Chief Minister, in fact, has written to the uh, Goa CM to uh, recommend a CBI probe in this entire matter. And it is the second time, and hence uh, the uh, Goa government has now finally decided to transfer this case to the CBI. However, all the investigation that has been done till now, it has been. Uh, it, it was on the twenty fifth of August that. Uh, both these accused were arrested by the uh, by the Goa police, and since then they have been in police custody. And recently they have been transferred to judicial custody now for the next 13 days. Uh, so yes, they have been investigating them from all the angles. The Goa police uh, top sources in the Goa police have also told us that whatever Sudhir Sangwan and uh, Supinder Singh had uh, told the Goa police, all those facts were corroborated and all those facts matched, which meant that they were not trying to hide anything. And hence the case of Goa police that they were trying to build of actually finding a motive. Of uh, behind the murder of Sonali Fogat, that seemed to be very weak, and yes, and hence it was a very very long haul for them uh, to make sure that they actually find the exact motive and establish a case uh, based on the FIR and file a charge sheet based on the FIR, which has which mentions 302 as the primary offence, and hence they were not able uh, they were not able to do this. So this report must have been uh, was given to the Goa CM, and from Goa CM it was given to the Haryana Haryana CM, where Haryana CM had said that. Since the investigation is not going anywhere forward, and the uh, and the proofs that have come to the fore seems like that there was no motive behind the killing of Sonali Fogad, and Goa police even established the fact that this was a clear case of drug o drug overdose and nothing nothing more than that. They came to party in Goa, and in that party they had uh, an overdose of drug. This was the angle that the Goa police finally presented in in its report, and after which uh, the Goa CM has now decided to transfer this case to the CBI since this. Report was not being believed by the family members, and the uh, pressure on the Haryana government was building day in and day out. 